We're standing here uh, right by the end of the nature trail uh, behind the track and uh, this is a, a beautiful maple and if the silver maple is our most ornate of the maple leaves the sugar maple is our simplest and this is a really nice uh, example of a sugar maple it's just a, a short while away from getting some really beautiful fall color this one's going to get just fiery pumpkin orange uh, in another week or two um, and here you can see the classic shape of a sugar maple leaf uh, it's it's simple it has small teeth but the lobes are not incised very deeply in fact if you look at the top it looks almost like a rectangle you can see it's sort of like a box with some teeth at the top um, and this is the classic maple leaf of Canada of the Toronto maple leaves and the sugar maple is Acer saccharum Acer being the genus of maples and saccharum being the genus of sugar so its name is sugar maple and that's because it's the tree species that we have used for a long time to tap the sweet sugars of the sap and it's the source of our maple syrup so here's a really nice sugar maple example and we have a couple of these right out on the felsen common as well but i like this one in the woods This is our red maple, like the other maples. The genus is Acer, A-C-E-R. I think some pronounce it Acer. Acer rubrum, rubrum for red. This is an easy leaf to recognize. It's a three-pointed leaf, like a trident. It also has a U-shaped base and it's toothed. So those are pretty distinctive characteristics. It also tends to have a long leaf stem. But if I just spin it around, some people say it kind of looks like a goose footprint, but here's another look, really nice look at the three points, a U-shaped base. You can see the red coloring in the leaf petiole, but it sometimes gets tremendous red fall foliage color, and we'll see that. So there's your red maple, really distinctive from the other maples we're gonna see, and there's the leaves right now, still green, but starting to really change around these parts now, and we'll soon have a lot of fall color in those red maples. This is the sweet gum, sweet gum tree. Uh, and it's different from the sour gum. And the wind is blowing it away. But it's got a great leaf. It's like a starfish. So again, this is a leaf that you're unlikely to mistake for any other leaf. You can see it's generally five pointed. Um, the smaller ones sometimes are perfectly flat across the base. See this yellow one? It's a five pointed star, but the base is you know almost perfectly flat um, when they get bigger those points can come down a little bit so a five-pointed starfish leaf and the name of this tree i love to say is liquid ambar liquid ambar styraciflua in the hamamelidaceae that means it's actually a member of the witch hazel family and here you can see the fruits and some people say oh that looks kind of like a maple leaf and it does a little bit, but I wouldn't confuse it for a maple. But when I look at the fruits, it's like, oh my gosh, those aren't maple fruits. So the fruits look like these kind of morning star uh, medieval weapon. Uh, and what's cool is when they're green, all these little beaks are closed. So you can see it's got all these like triangular bird beaks almost. And when it's green and immature, they're closed. But as it matures, they actually open up. And they open up, and when they open, they actually start to disperse from the tree these little tiny winged seeds that then blow in the wind. So they actually disperse most of their seeds before they fall. The beaks open up while it's still on the tree hanging up in the air. These small winged seeds shake out when the wind is blowing and it shakes it like a rattle and those seeds then blow in the wind. So that's your sweet gum, liquid amber, styraciflua with a starfish leaf. I want to actually back up and show you the tree on our Felsen Common here at Friend Central. This tree is actually one of three trees that's in the Pennsylvania Big Trees State Database. It's a champion. Um, it's a really large, tall, sweet gum. So for the species, this is a pretty notable species right outside the back of Shellcross over by the Phoenix Room. So that's our really notable uh, state, one of the top 10 
sweet gums that made the list here in Pennsylvania. Really quite a remarkable tree.